Here's another camera bag in the Black Snipe series from VSGO. Last year, I reviewed the Black Snipe courier style bag, and I've been using that regularly since then. Uh, that's 10 months now, no complaints. In fact, that's an excellent little bag, perfect for street shooting to carry, say, my Nikon ZF and a couple of lenses, but to this 25 liter backpack. This is, in fact, a larger version of the previously released 20 liter Black Snipe, with a lot more options and, of course, room for your cameras and lenses and accessories. And all this comes in at a total of 1.8 kilograms weight. Let's check it out. Hi, Ray here with the VSGO 25 liter camera bag. Starting on the outside, this is like other bags in the series. Uh, well, this is a, a pretty slick looking bag to my eye. And speaking of slick, the main outer fabric is made of TPU coated canvas. And as I say, going on the shoulder bag, that's strong, durable and water resistant. And the zippers are sealed as well. Pretty water resistant. They're YKK zippers, the best zippers on the market that I've been recommending for outdoor gear, uh, mountaineering, backpacks, etc. for four decades. And that's an important point that we'll examine again shortly. We have multiple external attachment points, numerous moly attachment points on the waist belt, for instance, on the shoulder strap and bottom attachment points with straps for suspending monopods, tripods, whatever. The pack is accessible from the top under this flap that features, um, it's called a fidlock button. And it's really kind of cool, clicks into place. Then we have a drawstring closure much like any hiking backpack. So this gives access to the upper area of the bag, depending on how you divide the main area. There's access via the right side panel as you face the pack, couple of pouches in there, though they're not zippered or otherwise securable. The other side has the same, and there are pouches that you can use to hold a tripod and or used for a water bottle. And there's compression straps to make sure things are secure. And nice to see that there, on the bottom, there's grommets in those pouches to drain rainwater. Oh, and there's a deep pouch on the front here as well. The most important opening, and the main design feature of this backpack, is the main compartment. So it's accessible from the back. And that's a good thing compared to, say, my older low pack, now what this means is that when I lay the pack on the ground to access my gear with that pack, it's a great pack otherwise uh, that I've had for more than 20 years, but the straps and back get dirty, especially in wet conditions, and that gets transferred to my clothing. The straps are well padded, really nice and very comfortable, including a sternum strap to stabilize the load. And the back padding is excellent. This uses a sandwiched breathable layer and suspended mesh fabric, which allows for moisture absorption and sweat wicking. It's very, very nicely done. There's a nylon webbing handle there and a soft padded one on the top as well. So accessibility here from the rear is very much appreciated. I'm not so thrilled with the flap that closes the main compartment. That's just an impediment as far as I'm concerned, even with its extra zippered compartments inside and out. My solution is just to leave the zipper on this flap undone. Otherwise, it's a it's kind of a barrier to quickly access the contents of the main compartment. There's a computer slot that'll accommodate a 16 inch laptop. Certainly, there's plenty of room for what I own, a 13 inch MacBook, and that's secured with a magnetic buckle. Now, I know from comments on other reviews that this design decision to attach the shoulder straps to the rear opening rather than to the upper part of the bag. Let's come in for some criticism. People question whether relying on this zipper to support all the weight of this bag or the bag and its contents, whether this is a potential failure point. Of course, I can't tell you at the moment. What I can tell you is that the weight doesn't really come directly onto the zipper, at least uh, once the bag is on your back. And I haven't had any issues after a couple of months of use. The design does afford a larger entrance opening and it gets the straps out of the way compared to the rear opening backpacks that have the shoulder straps built 
into the top. Again, I refer to the fact that all the zippers are made by YKK, the industry standard. But I guess it's going to be up to you if you feel that this design is something that you trust or not. There is a waist belt that clips into loops on the lower edges of the pack itself. This belt isn't designed, however, to actually carry or relieve weight. So this is an important point. I've carried massive packs on mountaineering expeditions, actually helped design a few for mountain equipment co-op uh, back in the day. And of course, the design of the support system on larger capacity packs is absolutely critical. This Black Snipe is not a pack that you want to overpack in my judgment. An awful lot is going to depend on your strength, your <laughs> physical limitations, whatever, but it has its limits as far as what you can carry comfortably, I think. So this is uh, literally, I guess, a balancing act between what you could physically fit in its 25 liter capacity and what you'd actually want to carry in a pack without a proper hip belt and support system. Inside, there's plenty of options in terms of padded dividers, and I'll say the same thing about these as I did in regard to the shoulder bag. These are the absolute Rolls Royce of camera bag dividers, if that <laughs> analogy works. Anyway, these are really nice, and I think they're likely to stand the test of time. Compared to other dividers in my other bags, they're really nicely manufactured. So what would I personally feel comfortable carrying in this bag? Well, Quite simply, once my needs go beyond a, a couple of bodies, maybe a smaller backup and the main camera, and two or three lenses, well, I don't use a backpack <laughs> because I'm no longer capable of hauling camera, uh, camping and climbing gear deep into the high mountains. At least not without helicopter support. <laughs> so I often resort to a wagon on shorter trips with relatively easy access, and then carried in the wagon, I'd be happy to pack this bag <laughs> with as much gear as it'd fit. But I have to say, overall, it's a very comfortable pack. The multiple access points are really appreciated. Oh, and before I forget, here's a handy little addition. This pull tab that has kind of a carabiner, it doubles as a screwdriver. So very handy for tightening up those tripod plates. And the overall build quality is excellent. Just a couple of things that might be better executed. So I'd like to see VSGO continue to refine and expand this line of camera bags. I think they're really onto something. Stylish, rugged, versatile, top-notch materials. There's a lot to recommend. So I hope you found this review useful and informative. If you did, please do give it the old thumbs up. And if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing hit the notification bell so you don't miss future content from me. In the meantime, take care. Cheers. We'll see you later.